one in all. Uh, so I'm in the shed at the allotment. Uh, I've got my keys down so I don't lose them. Uh, I've come down, I've got a few bits to do today. Uh, Pete's at work. I don't work today. A few bits to do and uh, give you an update on the allotment. So I have brought, I need to look around because Pete comes down on his own sometimes and things just move. <laughs> hope you can see me all right and that's a bit dark i bought a watermelon just a little one uh, i'm gonna cut that in half put that out that's for the bees and then i've got to take some potting soil home a bag of this home oh, that's bloody heavy oh we've got ants sod off sod off ants um and then i'll bring some talcum powder down i don't use ant powder on anything i use talcum powder and then uh, I'm just going to have a check on the plot um, and tell you about the garden at home has been ravaged, or some of it's been ravaged, by uh, leather jackets. First time I heard of them was this year, honestly. And it appears our neighbours have garden has gone, or, you know, it's all a bit rubbish really. Oh, slugs on my potato. Oh, get rid you. Oh no, I've been slugged. Oh, my potatoes. Look, I really thought if anything we were going to have potatoes this year, but I don't know. It's really demoralising when you try to do it all organically, isn't it, guys? It's just being eaten. But I tell you what, we are all so fed up with this bloody English weather this year. It's done nothing but rain. So the slugs and worm, uh, slugs and snails have had a bloody heyday on everything. So annoying. Oh, I don't know what to do. Uh, uh, yes, even this plot's been ravaged. I don't know what to do, guys. What shall I do? Oh, do I pick off the dead leaves? Oh, I'm really, oh, I'm really sad. It's like losing little pet potatoes. Bloody bugs, sod off. Um, on a positive, I think, I think I've got bits. I don't know what I've got going on there. I've got to be perfectly honest. No idea. They're probably weeds because they haven't been eaten. But look, the strawberries have flowers. I'm so pleased with that. Can you see that or am I showing you? Can you see anything I've just shown you? Right, strawberries have lovely flowers on, so they're doing well. So happy with that. Look at them under there. Um, I don't know if you saw that a minute ago. So that I think must be all weeds, that bed now, because nothing's been munched on. <laughs> and it looks like I've lost all the potatoes more or less. That was about 30 potato plugs gone in. And these are my leeks, which I think are doing okay. The rhubarb's flowered again. The little wildflowers come out, that's lovely, I'm leaving them for the bees for the time being because I think this year, because we've only taken over the plot this year, it's going to be about maintenance. There's nothing in this plot yet, it's, we just dug it over. So we'll do some weeding and again, basically lost these potatoes. Oh, I'm sad, I don't know what to do. Hmm. He even put coffee grinds around the potatoes, but hasn't prevented anything. Was that the right thing to do, people? Or has that helped attract them? I don't know. <sighs> Lots more googling for me, I think. And then all this has got to be it's this year's work. Prepping all this year's work. So compost heap looks like it's doing quite well actually we did buy as you saw earlier in the year i bought some worms off amazon because you can buy any from amazon uh, 
Water bat's doing fine. I haven't got bloody slugs on the bottom of that. Morning! And my apple tree, oh bless, blossoming. So I'm so glad that's, you know, surviving. Anyway. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, when there's slugs and snails on here, it's our happy place. Sick of them at the moment. Okay, oh, puffed out. Just been lugging a couple of pallets up the garden. Ah, cut this watermelon in half. That's it. I actually remember to bring a kitchen knife with me. I just hope I remember to take it home with me. Hey, there we go. Ugh. Right, where should we put it? We'll put one, I think. Let's try up here. Where's my, where's my bird table? What's that got on it? Oh, rainwater. Still, there's no, uh, I did fill it with um, mealworms for the robins. There's none left, so. Let's get the other one. Yes. Um, this one we put on. We put it by the strawberries. See what happens there. See if the bees come and find it there, and then hopefully get lots of pollinators in this year. Um. Put all the wall, uh, wallpaper on the cardboard up. Look at these bloody slugs, look. See them? Those buggers. I'm just going to pick as many up as I can and then throw them in the wild bushes next to the allotment. So I don't like necessarily killing them off. I don't want them, but. Put them in the shed on the side for the time being, and then I will take them with me and put them over the wild. I've got a wild fence, a wild what life bit over the side. I'll throw them over there. Right, back home now, lovelies, from the allotment. The weather's got worse, you know, why wouldn't it? Not working. Sod's law and all that. Right, these are oh wow, look at them. Can you see them? Yay! So these are coriander seeds. Let's peel them. Oh, I think I may need to have kept that a little bit wetter, maybe. I don't know. First time I've done this. Anyway, coriander seeds. They've definitely they're taken. I'm so pleased. Uh, what I did was soaked soaked some seeds, just a handful of seeds, in cold water for about, I don't know, th minimum three hours, I would have said. Took them out of there, um, wrapped them in some kitchen roll, or folded them into some kitchen roll, just a flat square, laid them quite flat. There's quite a few I haven't taken yet. I don't know what, uh, is it worth trying to do that? Anyway. Um, Oh my gosh, they already smell of coriander. I can't believe it. That is amazing. So proud of myself doing this. Um, then I put them in just a little food bag. And uh, you meant to put them somewhere warm. So I started them indoors, actually just by the TV, just for a couple of days. And then yesterday we had a dry day. And the day before we had some sun. So I took them outside and put them in my cold frame and now uh, I've, I've prepped three pots with some potting soil and whatnot i'm going to take you out and we will put them in and i'll put them back in a cold frame i think or should i bring them in uh, i don't know I'm, I'm feeling very um 
uh, what's the word, possessive about everything I'm planting at the moment because I was so disappointed in my potatoes this morning. Pete won't see what's happened to the potatoes until he watches the video I've just posted on TikTok and he'll be upset as well. Anyway, let's just get myself ready and my outdoor shoes on and I'll take you outside in this really miserable cold wet weather. Okay, let's walk my newest babies out to their new beds. Here we are. I don't want to stay out too long because of the rain on the phone. But got lots of potting soil in. I'm just going to sort of... Can you see that? I'm just going to try and spread them around a bit in the pot. I wish you would sod off rain. I'll put some more on top. Soil, I mean potting soil and then I think I'll water them in and the water the water I have in my watering can is mainly rain because hey we've got enough of it uh, some I did top it up with some tap water and a couple of banana skins because it makes a great fertilizer I've got an ant in there go away ant uh, so hopefully these will all continue to take. I think what I'll do with the ones that haven't seeded yet is I'll put them back in and I'll wet them down again, the towel, paper towel down again and leave them for another day in the warmth and see if that takes, see if I can get a few more to take. I don't know, maybe there's not enough. Oh, maybe actually I'll just do, maybe I'll just do these, what's left. See these that are left? I might just put them into a pot and see how that goes. Anyway, that's that. Just need to put my gloves on. And then... A handful of the potting soil. I opened a new bag this morning which I managed to split right down the middle so I'm balancing it on a chair with an old potting bag over the top to keep it dry. There we go. Only little seeds and little roots. I don't think I really need to push them down hard. Do you think? Oh, I don't know. This is all new to me. I keep saying, isn't it? It's all new to me. I'm learning. I'm learning and loving never too old to learn. Right, I've cut them down a little bit, just not too hard. There we are. Don't want to put too much soil in there. <laughs> certainly deep enough. Can you see? Certainly deep enough. Anyway, anyway. Planted with love, so let's hope they take. Move that out of the way and the knife out of the way. And them a bit of a water in. Oh, come on water pour. Right. Now that water will soak all the way down because all of that potting soil was dry. So I'm going to move each pot into the cold frame. Which... Oh where have you been? Where have you been? <laughs> Get indoors. Look, I've got a couple of little brown leaves on my broccoli plants. I don't know what that is either, so if anybody knows. And also on my um, Brussels sprouts, these are. So see, I've put some of these cabbage collars on because slugs and whatnot. Was even getting in there? Like, seriously. They were getting, they were getting in there and eating things. Like 3,000 feet off the ground for them, surely. Anyway, we are done. 